everybody welcome back to my channel hope you're doing really well um for this week's video i'm going to show you what i got in my look incredible deluxe box oh look at that wobble wobble um this is my this is the deluxe box so this is the one that costs 35 pounds and it comes every single month we're back to a silver box i feel like they're just alternating now between which color box they want to give us but it's cool I can live with it um <laughs> so this is the box and inside we have 93 pounds worth of beauty products this month um obviously it's always higher than what you pay isn't it but yeah uh i have already opened the box and i've used all of the products yes all of the products today so yeah let's get straight into it and i can tell you what i've got on my face so the first product is something I've never heard of before. Um, it's by Too Faced and it's a mascara called Size Queen. Um, it comes in this lovely like pink packaging. Um, and we get 15 mil here. I mean, we always get full size. The good thing about this box is everything is always full size. Um, this mascara is worth 21 pounds. And the brush is absolutely humongous look at that like how could that come from such a tiny hole i don't know but i mean can you compare the brush to my eye it is huge um they say in the like description here that um the humongous corkscrew shape of the mascara combines dual effects of long lengthening bristles and short volumizing fibers to achieve lush layering in one massive wand and they say the formula doesn't budge and also it nourishes your lashes because it has red algae panthenol vitamin c and e um i guess that's good that it's got like nourishing effects to it this because it's such a huge wand this does not lengthen my lashes at all this just makes them like really really voluminous um so today basically when i first put it on all my lashes were just short and fat um so i went in it works really well with benefits bad girl bang because the bad girl bang is really lengthening so um i used them together today to kind of get long lashes as well as them being voluminous so i definitely think it's good if you're going to use another mascara with it to kind of um lengthen your lashes at the same time um i am one of those people who does use like two or three lashes at the same time anyway so i'm used to it so that's what i'm gonna do um maybe using it a bit like lighter as well might help it because i went straight in there like into all my lashes um Maybe that didn't help and to put too much product on my lashes. I don't know. Um, but that is my opinion of it. I do love mascaras though, so that's good. Um, and it's definitely going to join the collection. I have so many mascaras that I need to get through. Um, I do love mascara. <sighs> yeah, so very happy with that. I'm aware that I always say I'm happy about that, excited about that with every single product so I need to stop and I need to start saying something different but I don't know what yet so lovely I think I say that a lot as well next is something really cool this is by MAC and it's part of their collaboration with Selena Gomez so it comes in this purple packaging and it is their blush duo and it's RRP is £26 it says here it's got two shades in one compact Provide fantastic colour with ease and consistency, applies evenly, adheres lightly to skin for a natural looking application of colour that stays put all day. Um, look at the packaging. I think that's so cool. I love that it's purple. Isn't it such a novelty when you have something from MAC, but it's in a different colour and it's not black? Love that. And then the thing opens by you like just pushing the button, which I can't do right now. You just push it and then it pops up. And we have a little mirror and these are the colours inside. Uh, it's definitely not blush for my skin. It is a bronzer. So these are the colours. Um, this one is definitely too dark for my skin. Um, and so I'm kind of glad they've got this, which is obviously meant to be kind of a, like a blusher. But I mix them together and I guess it works kind of like a Too Faced Sun Bunny, that kind of thing. Um, and it helps to lighten it up a bit. I've got it on today. It's the only bronzer I've got on uh i do i do still think it is kind of like too dark for my skin um 
but also it's super pigmented um so I like put my brush swirled it all the way in and I was like oh my goodness so I think a light touch is definitely needed with it it's not ridiculously too dark like I will still use this um I'll just have a bit more of a light touch. <laughs> it has like Selena's uh, signature actually in the product as well, which is quite cool, which obviously won't last long as you swirl your brush around. And the packaging has her signature on as well. So that's really, really cool. I like that a lot. Next is something from Smashbox and it's their LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color. So it's a kind of like creamy stick. Mine is in the shade Echo Park Pink. And this is what it looks like. I have it on today as a blusher and a lipstick. Um, I'll, I'll just like put it on my hand. So that's like the colour. And then it blends out. Yeah, so you can get it down to like a really, really subtle look. Um, it's like a ready kind of pink um, on my cheeks I don't really like it um, just though because of my skin tone and my colouring and stuff I feel like um, it looks like the same colour as I naturally flush and I know people say that's the blusher colour you should have but to me it looks like I'm out of breath like I've just been walking loads or something um, and I don't like the redness on my cheeks so not too keen on it on my cheeks i have it on my lips today it's it's basically just like a really really creamy lipstick i don't think it's gonna last all day but it's quite nice like this color so i've added more on it's quite nice like as a, like a summery kind of color like you know i'm just going to the park i'm just going to the beach we'll just pop this on um really really like the color of it and it does blend, it does blend easily. I mean, now I've got a red hand. That's just because of the colour of this product. Um, on the bottom as well, which I haven't used yet, you get like a little sponge to help with the blending. Um, I probably wouldn't use that on my face just because if you've got foundation underneath, I'd rather like tap it with my fingers than wipe it with a sponge. But that's just my preference. Um, have I said this is worth £26 and... Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? I do still have, we got a NARS like um, multiple stick before and I've used it maybe like three times since I got it last year. So not sure how much I will actually use this, um, but we'll see. And the last product is by Fusion Beauty. This is a Lip Fusion XXL Advanced Contouring Plumping Primer. So this is, or clear matte it says on the bottom. This is a lip plumper. Um, I put it on today before I put any lipstick on or anything. I always put like lip balm or something on as like the first thing I do. Um, I put it on today. I don't think it's plumped my lips, but it does feel really, really nice. It's kind of like, thick and nourishing um and i really like that um a little bit kind of like sticky on the lips when you put it on but yeah and it's clear i'll definitely use it as like a nourishing lip balm but i don't think it plumped my lips all of the lip plumping products that i've received before have never actually plumped my lips so it's funny isn't it that they they can kind of put on their products that they're lip plumping but they haven't actually done anything to my lips they must do something I don't know um, this has like no tingling sensation to it or anything like that so really really comfortable if that's something that worries you at all it is it RRPs for £20 um, yeah I wouldn't buy it I would just get a lip balm and if you want the tingling sensation get the Carmex mint one <laughs> So that's everything that was in my box this month. Just to recap, we got the Lip Plumper, which is a nice kind of lip balm in my opinion. We got the Smashbox um, Multiple Blush and Lipstick. And I kind of get why they've done that because it's coming up to summer now. So lots of people are going to use this. I can see lots of people will be really happy with this. We got the Too Faced Mascara, the huge one. Um, that does make me excited because I love mascaras and I will be able to make it work. Um, as long as I use it with a different one. So I am happy with that. 
and also we got the MAC Selena bronzer which is really really exciting and I just love that it's purple and also purple is my favourite colour if you did not know. So we got these four, I think overall it is, it is a good box, it's not the best and most exciting one I've had but also everyone has different beauty preferences don't they so that's kind of the risk of getting one of these boxes. Um, so yeah, I'm d I mean I'm definitely going to use three of these. I'll see how often I do use this on my lips. Um, I have a lot of lip products already. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to. And I will see you next week. Bye.